And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Amass. We're finally getting to this deck. If you've been watching the streams the last two days, this has been the deck that I had. It was my fourth deck for, for Tuesday Brews Day, where we build around different rares that don't see standard play and try to make decks with them. And, you know, thinking here is building around the Amass mechanic, but specifically widespread brutality. I, I really like this card. I think it's a pretty strong card. But, of course, you have to have a good amount of a mass for it. Um, we didn't get to it on Tuesday. Ran out of time with just the other decks that we had. We're going long. Um, so then yesterday I had it in as my fourth deck. So we had three donation decks to get to also. Didn't get to it again. <laughs> so we're leading the stream off with it today. And now Hawkeye's all excited to play some Grixis. Um, so, yeah, Tuesday, Bruise Day on the Thursday. Thursday edition of it here um so we're gonna be playing a league of course and seeing how our deck does but yeah we're focused on the mass mechanic the mass mechanic um has like didn't do too well in standard because of teferi because in the same set there was teferi time raveler that really punished you for making a large token that's what the mass mechanic does is, is it treat you know it wants you to make one large zombie army token and you can't really do that with the fairy time raveler just bounces it uh it's such a beating however uh ever since um field of the dead was banned we haven't had as much to fairy time raveler in standard now obviously the card is just awesome and so you, it's still around but it's not everywhere like it, it has been now the card that's everywhere is oko thief of crowns and oko like if you're just playing a 0-0 zero, zero creature that has a bunch of counters on it, that's actually pretty good against Oko. Because if, if Oko turns your army into an elk, well, then it's just a 3-3 three, three with a bunch of counters on it. Um, so that's so that's actually kind of good for you. So why, so I was thinking that maybe the Amass like, mechanic, like maybe that could actually work against Oko. It's kind of hard for, for Oko to uh, deal with that. Um, and of course, the Oko decks like playing a lot of creatures, and they like like going wide. And so widespread brutality can hopefully uh, be a like a one-sided sweeper or like, you know, it's a sweeper that leaves your army around and then your army can pressure their Oko. So that's what we're going to be trying here. We got the Dreadhorde Invasions, of course. So if we have our army be power six or greater, um, then it gains lifelink. So one way that we can kind of surprise our opponent by making it power six or greater, if it's just like a 4-4, we have the Royal Scions that not only helps us loot and smooth out our draws, but then also has that second plus one giving our creature plus two plus zero first strike trample so we can make our army you know like if it's a four four we can make it a six four first strike trample and then i'll have lifelink because of the dread horde invasion um and then it's it's also really difficult to to block at that point because it's six power with first strike um so i'm excited so i think royal scions actually could really help out the army um mechanic as well so i think that's a really good addition um, besides that, then we just got like our regular normal Grixis stuff. I love Angrass Rampage these days. I think this is an awesome card to deal with Oko on turn two that also just, you know, is a, a very versatile card other places. So I think this is a great card in the Oko metagame. Um, of course, Enter the God Eternals, pretty good against aggro, but it's a great way to grow our army. Um, Nicol Bolas at the top end. Kefnet works fairly well with the rest of the deck not perfectly like there's not like a ton of targets but you know it's it's awesome with enter the god eternals widespread brutality bedevil rampage um thought erasure so there's a few targets um 12 15 18 that's like 18 cards there so that's pretty good it doesn't work as well with these but lazatup plating is going to be like a, a fun of that's a fun one of for those of you keeping track at home a fun of um to see if how well it does if we can basically make turn it into a counter spell plus a mass one anyway um yeah let's go ahead and give this a try i got cry the canarium in the sideboard to keep against like the golgari adventure deck get edgewall innkeeper exiled and keep it exiled um and also against uh cauldron familiar this is like the perfect card to exile cauldron familiar they can't just sacrifice it first because it still exiles oh hawkeye doesn't like me talking about exiling the cat all right um, anyway, here we go. Let's get started. Let's see how this deck does. 
Yeah, getting trample on that army is huge because yeah, that's that's something that that's another thing that the army would struggle with is it would just get chump blocked all the time. So, royal scions giving it trample that's that seems really important. Uh, anyway, a um, couple people saying hi, Kanzan, Gar, what's up everybody, Flicker Docs, Ponage Factory. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for this one. Yeah. It took me a little bit to get to it, but we're here. We're here. Um, have I seen the mystery booster reveal right now? No, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. That sentence that you just said there was the first I have heard about anything with it. Whatever it is. So I want to get blue. Because we don't have, you know. want to get blue here, but... Blue is really bad with Angrass Rampage and Widespread Brutality. So I guess I just get red because of the Widespread Brutalities, and then we we'll just hope that we cast... Hope that we cast Kefnet at some point, but I guess we just kind of... Focus on our Amass stuff with the, the two Dreadhorde Invasions and, and Brutality being more important than Kefnet. Yay. All right, well, that's that's a creature that's going to definitely be a problem for me. So we're, I'm not going to, like, play the other invasion right now and risk them playing a second creature, and then they don't get to make them sacrifice the aerialist. It's like that creature I don't care about because we got brutality. We have to draw a land, though, of course. But I, I don't really need to use it. One brutality on just that. Um, okay, so we'll just go ahead and play this thing. Which I guess maybe actually playing that Kefnet actually that's that's actually not a good idea. Okay, that's fine. You can kill it. Hey, hey. Stop biting me. Oh, guys, like, you stop petting me. I'm going to bite you now. Um, I don't even know if I really want to put it back. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Here, let me get a pen or something for you to chew on. That's a good draw. Murder. So the Elder Spell is going to be able to take out the Nicol Bolas. That's okay. Next turn, yeah, like they play this thing. Is this is this a die trigger? Yeah. So they're gonna do two damage to me and gain two life. I'm already taking another two here. Good thing we're about to gain seven life. Um sometimes you get to do this second main. Because like if this didn't have death touch, you know, like if you could basically if you can attack with a a, a creature that has lifelink first and then do this, the army is the thing that does the damage. So if it has lifelink, you can potentially gain a lot of life there. Oh, that's just another. It doesn't even trigger on itself. It's not too vindictive of a vampire then. Oh, yeah. That land doesn't cast bolus. Eh. Oh, well. I guess it... So, yeah. I guess I should not have kept that land. Oh well, they have Elder Spell for Bolas anyway. Blood was my beginning, and it will be your end. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses life. I guess that thing's still legal. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like they should have just left out the Knight of the Ebon Legion activation instead of playing the Soren. I kind of realizing that. This is not my final demise. So yeah, like now it has life link. So if I go brutality, we'll gain eleven life. I just kind of wanted to do that to gain the 11 life. It's probably better for me to... Darn it. Uh, that's what I was going to say. It's better for me to wait in case they... That's what I was about to be saying. In case they drew another Death Touch creature. Which they did. Thankfully, they don't have removal. And I have a lot of life to spare. If I can sit back for a second. Alright, well, it got really punished for... Casting the Brutality second main. I would I would not have played the Kefnet second main because it would die to the Brutality the next turn, but I, I should have just passed. Um, yeah, I want to reveal that. This is pretty sweet. So I got rid of a murder and three swamps. Yeah, this is the Amass deck. We're doing a pretty good job of amassing out, I have to say. Just our old tw the old 2626 creature. <laughs> yeah, who needs Merrill Age? He'll gain, gain 26 life. 62 to 6. Hey, Zoltan. All right, so mono black, vampires, death touch creatures. Removal. I don't know if I really need a sideboard. Cry the Carnarium could come in. I don't think I need a sideboard. I like my deck. We'll just keep it like this. Hey, carbon required. No carbon required, that is. Yeah, Death Touch Tribal. But you think the Death Touch Tribal would be well positioned against the super large creature, you know, the super large army. But we had enough removal to keep those Death Touch creatures at bay. So we're good. I can keep this. We got the Royal Scions to loot away some lands. And I didn't play a single Planeswalker last game. So potentially my opponent will... Um, maybe they took out the, the Elder Spell. All right, whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, it can't be blocked. All right, well, that's not very scary. With my sister by my side, I do not... I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. 
So I'd rather have the dual lands in play than the uh, the basics. Like I may be discarding these basics, especially island and mountain are my two least important basics. Roman, help! Let me synthesize the fact. Um, that lo last song was Paralyzer by Finger Eleven. I'm killing the 2-3 instead of the 3-1 because I can play Lazata Plating to make a 1-1 one, one to be able to block the 3-1. The oh, get away from me! Alright, whenever this enters the battlefield, search your library for a card named that Soren and put it into your hand. Alright, so it's a five so it's a four two tutor for the six mana Soren. Art creature does that. Do some damage. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Hey Storm, good evening. Um, yes, Teferi is good in uh, blue eye control. It is. It's just a really strong card. It means your opponent can't really play instance anymore. Yeah, I thought that thing should be a hexproof. And it lets you play sorceries at instant speed, like the the sweepers at instant speed and everything. And finale glory at instant speed. It's also just a really good temp tempo play whenever you bounce and it replaces itself. Um, slows the opponent down quite a bit, which is exactly what you want in control deck. Let me synthesize the fact. Was kung fu fighting. Would I play this deck in ranked? I don't know. Um, this is our first time really trying it out. I love a good fight. We'll have to kind of, you know, we'll kind of see throughout like the games here how we feel about it. I am optimistic.
What is my strategy here? Um, kind of looking for like Nicobolus. So that would be a really good draw. Dreadhorde invasion, start getting that thing going. Hey, there's Nicobolus. Seven mana, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. So I minus three and get rid of this thing. I am one again. Nah. Good call. Hey, Joe. Everything's going good. I have other schemes to attend to. I outsmarted you eons ago. My answers lie in the cold truth. But a drop of power. I'm hoping they drew a small a small creature that we get to kill with brutality also. That'd be nice. <laughs> Eons ago. What's up, Triton? Starman. Okay. That's good for me. They're going wide. Widespread brutality, that is. Here we go, our new dragon god, Overlord. The time claims what my intellect is without limits. A quest of mystery. <laughs> yeah, Nicol Bolas is always a... It's a fun card to play, a really frustrating card to play against. If you surrender now, I'll still have time for tea. Oh, that's nice of you. Thought. Down, 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 down. Good luck Conceivable. with your little cure. Let your weak minds crumble. All right, let's grow the army. There is no virtue without bravery. I don't really need to loot for anything. Let's give it plus two, plus zero trample. We can have lethal this next turn. I, I can grow it by two with brutality to make it eight, and then plus two with royal scions for ten, and then I can do nickel boluses, can do the plus two like the scions to make it twelve. All right, one and oh. Uh, probably not, Bangalore. Probably not. I enjoy streaming more. I think I'm done with with uh, playing Paper Magic. This is so I'm doing full time now, entertaining and streaming and making YouTube videos, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get a little bit more of a challenge here. Looks like our opening hands are giving us more of a challenge. So obviously one of these go. And then I think it's between uh, Royal Scions and like Fabled Passage. I guess it's going to have to be Fabled Passage. Yeah, I probably should keep the Royal Science, but like the Royal Science doesn't doesn't let me gain cards. Hey Frank.
Can I put this Enter the God Eternals back and grab one of the other cards? Yeah, it's the first test of our deck, but we're we're also we're on a five card hand. This is gonna just be really tough to win, honestly. This is I was talking about how I really like Angras Rampage earlier. This is a really poor Angras Ram, Rampage matchup. It looks like I'm gonna loot it away. It seems we've encountered another puzzle, Let me synthesize the facts. Uh, Midnight Reaper is really rough against widespread brutality. Retreat is a valid strategy. Maybe they won't go that way. No, play the murderous rider. That wrinkle is just perfect. That was completely devastating. Hey, Shnan, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody, from Shnan's stream. Um, I, I don't know what the best best of one deck is. It's probably just... Um, it's probably a food variant, just like in best of three. The food variants are very good against aggro. Make the multiverse in my image. My revenge will be pain. <laughs> you have no weakness. I can't. Hey, I'm doing explore. good. Doing good. Yeah, I do like Rakdos Sacrifice quite a bit. I think it's a very good option as well. I will return one day. This rankle was really devastating after. After mulliganing to five. It really wrecked me. But so like Cry the Carnarium is gonna be a pretty big card here in our sideboard. That land drops is gonna kill me. Alright, let's let's retry this. Gotta exile all those little things, including Edgewall Innkeeper. That's kind of all I have, though. I could play Noxious Grasp, but I don't love Noxious Grasp. But I really want these Crowd the Carnariums. All right, Shannon. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, my opponent's playing Golgari. The yeah, the rampages just aren't very good because of like the, the little creatures. I could 
Could play Noxious Grasp instead of the other two Rampages. That's probably going to be better for me. But I've, I've said this so many times, you know, so I feel like I'm kind of a broken record, but Golgari Adventure is what it does is it, it beats the decks that are trying to beat Oko. I get this deck. Golgari Adventures is just so good against control because all their stuff is so cheap. They have so much card advantage. That their deck hits really hard. It's just the perfect control killer. And so I, I lose to this deck a lot because I play a lot of control decks. And I say that every time, but it's just it's just a fact. Like if there's one deck I'd say maybe our worst matchup, this could be it. So I need another red source for both brutality and bedevil. So I can I can go grab mountain here with the fabled passage. Why? Why did that have, have Midnight Reaper? Another great anti control card. An anti great anti sweeper card. Unfortunately, that was the land I was going to go fetch here. Guess I need to fetch last turn. I mean, I'm playing this. That's the easy one. I only have one basic land left in my deck. So I guess might as well use this Fable Passage before we draw that one, too. I just have the island. Uh, yeah, Oko is not the problem with mono black control. Like, if you're talking about, like, my, my mono black control from last format. There's a lot of answers for Oko and black. Do I attack with the Overseer or not, is the question. No, I don't have any captive audience. Oko hoses Dread Presence. Um... I don't know. I mean, I want to really say that Oko hoses Dread Presence. You can still just play Dread Presence, then play your Swamp, and then draw a card. And then even if they turn it into an Elk, it's kind of whatever. You already drew your card. 
And this is why their deck is very good against control. So much card advantage everywhere. Just draw two. Such cheap things. They just played four, four cards there for six mana. And drew three cards. My, del my deck is hating me right now. Yeah, these draws have been awful this match. My opponents have been perfect. I'm not sure why the Knight of the Ebony Legion didn't attack, honestly. I have six sweepers in the deck already. Not like I need Masker Girl. And even if we had played Masker Girl, they would just bring back Edgewall Innkeepers, like always. I need to draw, like, Cry of the Carnarium. I guess we got a War of the Spark pack. Must have leveled up. Ah, uh, 20 gems. Got the Kiora. Alright, well that that didn't work out at all. But yeah, we mulled the 5 and then, you know, drew 80, drew 80 lands in our 25 land deck. So, you know, whatever. Another hand with a lot of lands. We're going to hopefully just draw some spells. Um, and not more lands. I, you know, like, we have all of our colors, though, and everything. Like, I just don't think that that's really a mulligan. Obviously, my deck's not co cooperating. This would be really unfortunate if we just, you know, get eliminated. We just go one and two. This just happens again for our second match. Unreal. Shuffle. Give me anything else. <laughs> Why does everybody have Midnight Reaper? They were just sitting over there on just three lands, so they got six cards in hand. And they have a whole bunch of stuff in play, and I got my one card. Definitely not you. Oh, it's definitely possible to draw 80 lands from our 25 land deck. We just witnessed it. We just did it a little bit ago. Definitely possible. I should probably mill myself for four because it's just a four lands on top. Hey, they're playing Orzhov Troll Knights. 
Our deck from yesterday. I was wondering if they were playing Orzhov Troll Knights. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah, I should have I should have milled myself and milled off the four lands from the top. I mean my my opponent still has six cards in hand. And they're all spells. And I got a whole bunch of nothing over here. Obviously I need to draw widespread brutality now. So what we need to draw is widespread brutality. Um, yeah, I guess we take Royal Scions. <laughs> the thing is, do I want to make this an 11 power first strike? lifelink attacker or do I loot I probably just need to loot I need a Golgari deck and call it Casual Ties of War. That's that's pretty good, Storm. That's pretty good. I like it. All right, is Eleven Power Life Linker gonna do it for me? Probably not. Is the greatest virtue with the courage to apply. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Well, I can't be too mad. Our opponent's playing my Orzhov Troll Knight stack from yesterday. That's pretty sweet. Hey, liberal ideas, what's up? So we're bringing in the Cry of the Carnariums to just give us a couple more sweepers for the small creatures. Cutting some rampages. I think about playing Rao. Nah. I'm gonna play these extra negates instead of these other rampages. Uh, yeah, Voodoo, you get automatically timed out if you use that forward. I don't want that language in chat. It just automatically happens.
Got family friendly chat here. All right, so I got my best card this time in Widespread Brutality, and I got a bunch of other good ones, but my man is awful. We have drawn thousands of lands so far, so I think we can safely keep a hand that needs blue mana because we're going to draw blue mana. Well, at least we know we're drawing lands, but I assume we're going to run out of non blue lands to draw eventually because we only we only uh, draw lands I didn't even notice they didn't take brutality the first time honestly just kind of assumed they did Yeah, I play everything ideas. Just today I got two control decks to start the day off with. With a mass and then Rakdos control. Definitely our best card. It was the reason why I kept my hand was because of widespread brutality. If I, I didn't really consider duress too much. If I would have thought that we were getting duress turns one and two, I would have mulliganed that hand because my hand did rely on widespread brutality. Sometimes, sometimes, some days you just don't play any magic. But awesome deck for our opponent. GG's. I'm gonna play one more match of this deck because we just didn't, we didn't get to like play any magic at all. Like all three of those matches were just horrible. So let's let's try to play like one good match. I'm gonna go take it over to rank. We'll just play a match here. Yeah, those are. Those are three really bad games. Let's let's play one more. Like even our win, you know, is against mono black vampires and then just small sample size theater of what can happen in some games. I kept some hands with too many lands and then we just drew a whole bunch more and then I kept a hand with no blue and we never drew blue. We just drew blue spells. You don't usually get to keep perfect sevens, but whatever was the problem with our hand, this is our third or fourth one lander, at least third, maybe the fourth one lander also. Whatever was wrong with my hands though, I was just immediately drawing the worst cards I could for it. No, I'm not going to just play till I lose. We have other decks to get to. I'm, that's... I'm not going to just play till I lose. Think about getting rid of the Kefnet. It's either the Kefnet or the End of the God Eternals. They, they're both double blue. End of the God Eternals costs five, but is also removal and can help out our brutality. Where Kefnet can like help us stabilize, just be a, a good card. I'm not sure. I guess I could just get rid of the one that costs five. I 
Hey, keywords. Yeah, I'm. S yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry it didn't didn't work better. I think the deck's really good. It just, um, yeah, you're talking about the the food deck from yesterday. It didn't. Yeah, we, we didn't draw too well. Um. Yeah. But that's that's what I recommend for a um Corvold deck. I think that's that's the best way to play Corvold. So that's the problem. So like like you know, like they're a just guy control, so I I really thought about uh, shocking in here to be able to hold up a devil, but I thought the most likely card that they would be playing anyway would be would be Teferi. And there's no, you can't respond after it's a fairy. You can't bedevil it afterwards. Of course, you can't play instant. So our opponents are going crazy though. They're they're having a blast. Let's try this. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Oh, why did I play that land? I should probably discard that. Courage is the greatest virtue. Let me synthesize the facts. All right, that worked. Yeah, fire is drawn from dream. It's just, it's just the perfect. Turn four play. It's it's what you draw up in your dreams for playing a Fires of Invention deck. This isn't a fight you can win. Well, this is the card that's made Here we go. a mass terrible, as I talked about at the very beginning of the video. So, I don't know. Teferi is devastating against Kefnet for like that bounce effect. Also, we we can't play any instant, so we can't even use Kefnet's ability with Teferi in play. Teferi's devastating for our mass cards. Fires of Invention's a card I have no answer for, because we're playing Grixis, we don't have any enchantments. Alright, so we found two two holes. Golgari Adventures and Jeskai Fires. These are some horrific matchups. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play against any Oko decks. That's what I really wanted to try this out against. It's unfortunate. My cards don't really do anything that my deck's built around. Hmm. So we're gonna have to change it up. Noxious Crasp kills Teferi, but after they've already like drawn their card. Elder Spell. 
can also do that. I don't think they're really playing like too many other planeswalkers. Like they'll have like Teferi and Narset. Um It's possible Gleaming Overseer is better than Kefnet. Probably is. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. In Arena, there's a button that says Export. If you want to get your deck out of Arena, there's a there's a button that says Export. Um, and then, like, if you want to post your, your deck online, and then you can export it. To some to a website like MTG Goldfish here, that um, can allow you to share your deck. That's how this league's gone. Oh, what's the only card in the format that my opponent can have that, could, that can stop this right here? Of course they'll have it. Why not have counter magic in their Fires of Invention deck? You're welcome, Skyla. You're welcome. I would have taken Fires of Invention with the Unmoored Ego if, if we would have, um, if it would have resolved. It's definitely the card that I'm the most scared of because if they, if they, if they're able to play Fires, then they can have, like, all the extra mana to give their stuff haste and everything like that. That's definitely the thing I'm the most scared of. Yeah, I think it's very likely we get the other temples next set. Yeah, I think it's it's very likely that happens. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Um, Theros isn't all about monocolored. Like, it's it's a theme, but it's not, like, the only... Th that's not the only theme in the set, though. All right, well, they had they had fires. Signs indicate that that hurt. So... Oh, well...
So I was, I was hoping we were going to have like an instant or sorcery on top that I could put in the graveyard to make this 5 so I could minus and kill the Kenrith. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Time to choose. Always so exciting. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. They just didn't have fires of invention. This would be so much easier. And both my planeswalkers are just gonna leave. I can. Like so, I, I could tick up. But they have the they have that fey of wishes that they would just exile if I tick up, and they're still going to kill both of my planeswalkers. So it's basically would I rather have a card in hand, or would I rather Let's slow this down. Um, kill the Kenrith? Here goes nothing. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Well, now they can't kill both planeswalkers, right? Or no? I guess if they drew a land, they could. Let's see. So now at least we get to untap with one of the two. <laughs> stream stream's been going pretty bad today, Matthew. Fortunately, at least these games. Like, the stream's been just fine. These games have been horrible. As you can see over here, this is what this is what this, the games have been like. Which is really disappointing. I've been you know waiting to play this deck for three days. I was all excited to play it, and these have been some of the worst games I've played in like a month. Really disappointing. So I don't know. I I think we just I don't think we really learned anything <laughs> from four matches. Even though, like, we weren't competitive at all in three of them. Um, yeah, we weren't competitive at all in three of them, but it wasn't really because our deck wasn't good. We had two, we had two really tough matchups with Golgari Adventures and Jeskai Fires, just how the cards line up and everything. But then besides those both being tough matchups, we drew about as bad as we possibly could at every draw step. It was horrible. So obviously like it just wasn't wasn't competitive games at all. And then we had another game where we didn't have any cards to play, where we had um, just like all lands, no lands. I just have 25 lands. I don't know. I don't know, it's magic, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not It's not like an arena thing. Like That can definitely happen in paper. It's just a, a real small sample of a few matches. Um, my opponents never stumbled whatsoever. You know, like that, that, like that's just, you know, they have the mystical dispute to counter. You know, they have the fires of invention with the drawn from dreams and everything. There's just never any stumbling over there. Always tons of edge wall innkeepers. Tons of Midnight Reapers. I don't know. Um, yeah, I know. Two days of delay to play this deck, and now now we had just this. That's really unfortunate. So I guess I'll I'll have to try to play this deck again here soon, because we really didn't learn anything. We didn't get to play against Oko. Um, 
but yeah, I I think out of a hundred matches, we're probably gonna lose most of them to Golgari Adventures and Jeskai Fires. I think that's those are two decks that match up really well against um against a Grixis control deck like this. They the games would be should be a lot closer than what we played though. Um and like the and then the Orzov Knight uh troll deck, I think that overall we may we I think that we would probably be favored in that if we had reasonable draws, but we had absolutely nothing. So I don't know. You y'all could probably tell that I am not not happy with how we drew. I don't I don't think that we're like playing too many lands. Like I don't think that twenty five is too many lands. Even though that's all we had all those games. I think we have enough of our colors, even though we had the one game where we didn't have any blue. We have fifteen blue sources. Um, one thing about the deck that actually I forgot, there is one thing that, that should change. That honestly I just forgot. I forgot about there being the blue red temple. The swift swift water cliffs, cliffs need to go for blue for Temple of Epiphany. So maybe that could have helped us a little bit if we would have had two uh, Temple of Epiphanies. We would have been able to scry twice because we had swift because we drew swift water cliffs all of the time because all we were doing was drawing all land. So maybe that would have helped just a tiny bit. All right, so that was that was an oversight by me that I just realized when I was looking at the deck list. Not bad there. Um, but yeah, there, there wasn't any cards that I didn't like too much. I think Kefnet was probably the most disappointing card because it was like the only card that we had. Um, some of those games. I don't know. We're going to... Yeah, we'll go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not Arena. You drop a land, the algorithm goes in your favor. That's not... There's no... There's no algorithm like that for best of three. I think you may be thinking of best of one. In best of one, there's the there's the hand fixing part. There's there's nothing for best of three. You just get a random card. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't really want more fable passages. So somebody says like more fable passages to protect thinning because the problem with fable passages is we have to play more basics and the basic lands were awful. There was just like these are really hard cards to cast. Like casting. You know, like we need blue, black for thought erasure, black, red for this, black, black, red for this, red, black, bl or sorry, um, yeah, black, black, red for that, black, red, red for this, blue, blue for this, blue, blue, black, and then you know, like these cards are so hard to cast. The basic lands are pretty bad. They're like because they they only add one one color of mana. We kind of need all of our lands to add like two different colors because all of these are so so stretched out and difficult to cast. So I I really don't want more fable passages. Because I, I really I don't want more basic lands. I think that's the max that we can play. Uh, Bond of Insight to get spells back over Kefnet? No. No, I, th I think that it's better to have the threat with Kefnet. Um, I don't know if there's like a better threat. Could could play like four mana Chandra or Rankle. Something else there, but I think Kefnet's the the best thing to be playing. Kefnet's just so bad against. It's very bad against Oko, of course. Turning into a three, like this is a card that's very easy to turn into a three three, and it's very bad against Teferi. So those are the two problems with Kefnet. Besides that, it's good against everything else, and it's it's a good card at all other times. But the two of the very best cards in the format um, make Kefnet look really weak. That's how life goes, though. All right. Um, all right, if you're watching on YouTube um, and you try, like, try the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes for you there. Um, Widespread Brutality was awesome, and that's I do like this card a whole lot. I think this card's very powerful. I'll have to try it some more. I think, we, yeah, I'm going to have to just try this, this deck again. It's we just don't have the luck right now. I'm gonna just move on to a different deck um, instead of just trying to play another match. But I I don't really think worse of the deck after going one and three. I just think that we had aw awful 
draws, basically. Um, anyway, there we go. That's Grixis Mass. I hope you still enjoyed the video. I hope you still learned stuff. Ho hopefully, um, I talked through things well enough for you. And uh, if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but yeah, leave leave whatever other comments um, about you know if I'm if there's something else that I'm missing besides putting those two Temple Epiphanies. Um, if you think there's a better card than Kefnet for me to play there, um, if there's something else I need to be doing, sideboard or anything like that. Let me know over in the comments. All right, that's Kirk's Mass. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.